My name's Emily. Yeah, I don't know who I am. I'm trying hard to get to know myself, but all hopes are fleeting. I don't know what to do and where to go. Even trying to fathom who I am or what my purpose is, I'm no good. I often think of the reasons for my existence and birth, while I've never even felt happiness. I want to end it all. I really do, but I still can. Though, I already understand that life is full of pretense. I hated it. If you ask me the things I hate the most, it would take me weeks to say it all. But if you need an instant answer, I'll say, yes, I hate everything, everything about life. already been so many scars etched in my soul. Starting from the things the jerks around me say and do. They only think of me as the other part of the universe that's pointless. I have no choice but to accept it all. Like the air that flows inside me without me being able to reject it. They forced me to swallow the bitterness and what I did was just ignore it. Everything went in one ear and out the other. I never cared about people and words. Except him. My brother. Leon. So, what shall our dinner be tonight? Go look around for anything we can use to cook up. Birds are able to keep their balance. When there's a gas of wind, they can't even stand on one foot. It's like life full of moments that might make you feel depressed. But if your heart and mind is balanced, life can be lived so easily. Is that so? Of course. This is all? Oh! Really, Em? Yeah. Let's work with that. He is the only one I trust and my only treasure in life. He takes care of me and vice versa. I've been through hard times with him. Daydreaming about an established life is a thing we like to do. And I do it because there's no other way for us as orphans. It's simple, but always makes me smile. The anger and disappointment I long to put on this universe, but everything feels okay when my brother comes and says his silly and soothing words. He's my shelter in a storm. Small daily activities with him is my cure to this harsh universe.
It's been a few days since Leon came home. I guess he's just out and about as usual. But I'm not sure why I'm feeling so restless and worried about him. Some little things also tend to get me confused. But I brush it off. usual. That day, I was planning on talking to Leon, to tell him that I think it's better to be yourself rather than to keep pretending to be someone else. But I did not expect the sight in front of me. had a few days ago was my last conversation with him. I'm crushed.
shattered to see him lifeless. He killed himself over disappointment. I, I couldn't say anything. My emotions were pouring through my tears. He's the only one I have in life. And now he's gone forever. Tears and 
I almost forgot that we have no food left at home. The unfortunate twist of fate. It's hard. And got me fired from my job without my consent. Before nightfall, I decided to take a little walk. Trying to make a joke for how relentless punishment the world has given me. And now I somehow have to buy enough food with the little money I have in my pocket. I don't know how it's going to be enough, but I have to make it do somehow. I sat on a park bench next to a man with a worn out look on his face. He bought a little bit of food to eat for himself. I sat there quietly, expecting nothing. But out of nowhere, this man offered me half of his food. It's like he knows what I'm feeling. He also told me his life story, which was somehow much worse than mine. I really can't tell you how much worse it was. But in a way, even if it's just a little, his words healed me. Who for?